Listen, I'm very, very excited to be given this uh, responsibility. Um, uh, getting to work in a sport that has given me so much is, 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 is something I really want, I've wanted to do and, and just being elected and the membership giving me an opportunity to serve I think is, is something that I'm really happy about and, and, uh, and we look forward to the, to the work that is ahead. I think I've had an opportunity in the, to serve in other boards and, and this has given me some experience in terms of pushing the agenda that we want. I think in rugby, my biggest role in all these boards has been player advocacy, and just looking at uh, how we treat our players, um, in terms of player welfare, how we treat them and how we look after them in, in, in competition. So I, I think for, for me the first agenda we're just looking at it is, is to like ensure that our board is always player focused and, 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 and looking at the demands of the player, players. I think at the moment whatever we need to rugby is a lot, so what small things can we do to change uh, for example, our player welfare and, and where we are and where we want to be. Um, it's really interesting on a weekend that our service team is playing in, in, in Hong Kong. Our team team is going down to, to, to SA for the Kai Cup. And you can see all this. The sport is continuing, so the sport is bigger than all of us. So I think our duty is just to ensure that the players who go and represent the country are okay. Just getting to sit on the National Olympics Committee board and look at uh, player, uh, player welfare and uh, being the player rep. And, uh, and as well on the uh, WADA executive board. So all this for me is just giving me um, experiences in terms of how boards work, in terms of how um, we push the agendas and, and the vision and the strategy. A lot of conversation um, in this board is around player, player welfare. So, so for me the biggest thing is player advocacy and just looking at the demands that the game requires versus the players who are our biggest assets. I think without them uh, we can't be sitting or talking about uh, them in these spaces. So all, all these roles, whether it's the National Olympic Committee Board, um, the WADA Board, or okay, any other board that I sit on, I think a lot of emphasis has been on ensuring that we treat this big asset that we have uh, well.